Merci bien. Uh, let me a little bit introduce myself. Uh, so I've been in mobile since something like 11 years, and I started as a mobile developer. Uh, so I'm a tech guy, <laughs> and uh, these are the phones that I suffered on quite early, uh, just before, just uh, after the. It was the first uh, color phones, and I used to have an engage and phone like a Playmobil for three years. Yes. <laughs> um, so uh, at that time we were building games. Maybe you heard about Java games uh, a long time earlier. And um, in fact, uh, I had the luck to, to, to work on apps quite early, as early as 2003, um, because we were using games technology to build apps. Um, it was innovation. And uh, like me then, uh, I arrived at Deezer to be the head, head of mobile and build the product and the team there. Uh, if you don't know Deezer, it's the main competitor of Spotify. And uh, then kind of the same story, building the team and, and the product at Viadio, which is the main competitor of LinkedIn. And today I'm an independent consultant in mobile strategies, which gives me some time to, to talk to you. <laughs> um, so why did I came here to talk to you about deep linking, which is a more uh, marketing training uh, topic currently? Uh, it's because in 2010 at Deezer we had a project called URL Handler. URL Handler, sorry. <laughs> and um, we didn't have a proper name for that, and this name appeared since. It's deep linking, <laughs> and I will talk to you about. Um, how it works and things like that. So let's talk about the issue. I think you all face that issue. Uh, you receive a mail, you click a link, you have the LinkedIn application installed and you are logged in the LinkedIn application, but it launches the website, the mobile website, where it is asked for you to link to log in. It's a really disappointing experience. You all experience that? We didn't ex never experience that. <laughs> okay, we all experience that. So that's the issue. And deep linking is a solution to that for that. Why does it happen? It's because um, apps and web are two separate universes, and URLs, which are the standard for web, are not supported in apps. So deep linking is a solution. But what is deep linking? Is there, um, who knows about deep linking here? Raise your hands. Uh, not so much. So it might be useful then. <laughs> OK. Um, so this is my definition of deep linking. It's quite short. It's a way to open an app directly to a specific quest section or content, thanks to a link. Quite straightforward, but we'll have some examples. And it is currently trend trending. Uh, this word, deep linking, the deep linking expression has been mentioned throughout the day because deep linking is a requirement for retargeting. You can't do retargeting on mobile without deep linking. It's a requirement. So that's why it's currently trending because it's a need for retargeting. And we, within, with this example, you have a, um, a specific ad, but it could be an item on, on in an, or for an e-commerce app as well. And uh, that when you click on it, then it goes in the app, but in a particular, with a particular content. Okay? So it allows you to uh, do so what, what I call had to app, and of course retargeting. Uh, but that's not, that's not only that. I mean, that's why, why deep, link is, deep linking is currently trending, but you can do much more with that. Uh, so you can imagine SMS to app as well. Let's, let's talk about QR code to app. Or email to app. If you, if you have a newsletter with deep linking, you can enable the link in, in, in the newsletter to open the app, as with the issues that we've seen earlier. Um, so of course, web to app, and that includes also um, I think you can do SEO or uh, SEA to app. Uh, social to app, and we'll have a, f a particular focus on that, on that one later. And had to app, which is uh, something also trending currently. But yeah, just remember that side. Forget, yeah, it's a, it's a copy slide. I, I told you I was a tech guy. <laughs> uh, just remember that slide. Deep linking is your everything to app. It opens your app somewhere on a particular content. And in that sense, it allows you to leverage all your digital marketing efforts also for your apps, your newsletter and so on, for example. OK, so how does it work? Uh, it's based on a technical mechanic, which is called URL Scheme. Who knows about URL Scheme? Yeah, wow. we, have to, we have some tech guys here. <laughs> so it's more a tech stuff. So just remember it as a technical mechanic to, build, uh, to, to launch an app with parameters. So let's have some examples. Uh, if you, if you're, uh, um, you can try, you, type, you just type fb uh, colon slash slash in your, in your browser and it will open the Facebook application. 
Uh, well, let's make an interactive experience then. Um, for people who have a QR code, a barcode scanner uh, installed and the Twitter app installed, I invite you to scan this code. Or just, if you're on iOS, you can type the address. So who, who's ready for that? We can take a few seconds for that. <laughs> I will do it myself. Yeah, you can, you can use the TV screen in the back. So who has the magic happening? Oh, OK, you can just follow me on Twitter then. Yeah. <laughs> so you, as, as you can see, it doesn't open the website. It opens the app directly. Mm -hmm. So that's what Deepling is. And that's, how, that's what it allows. That's what I wanted to show you with this interactive stuff. Um, yeah, and just to mention Unitag, which is a great uh, startup to make uh, customized QR code. Uh, so this is, a, uh, you know, for opening Twitter, it's, uh, the, the syntax is like this, Twitter to po uh, colon, colon slash slash user and my, my username. But you can, of course, open uh, something else, a company page or whatever, a tweet. Yeah. Uh, it's parameters. Yeah, the main, it has issues. It's not perfect because, as mentioned, it's two separate worlds. So your URL don't, doesn't don't work with, um, with apps. And the main issue with uh, URL scheme is that it doesn't work with web. You know, on, a, on a desktop web browser, or uh, if app is not installed, then you have a crappy failure with a pop-up, and it's so bad. Maybe you already faced it as well. <laughs> uh, so we had to find a technical solution for that as well. And we use a flow, uh, it's sort of a routing mechanism to um, uh, guide uh, the user to the proper, um, to the proper um, behavior. So let's see how it works. Uh, so for example, you, the user clicks on, on, on uh, wmydomain.com, so on. It's a web link. We just first analyze the user agent. Again, a technical stuff, but which allows us to separate mobile and desktop. If it's, if it's not a mobile, if it's just a desktop, then we just let the link proceed. Now, if it's a mobile, uh, we check if the app is installed. That might not be possible. It's, it's uh, uh, checking if app is installed is only possible from app to app. It's not possible from uh, mobile web, except with crappy stuff that I will put uh, that I did put later in the slide for you. Take ease. <laughs> you will have them. Uh, but whatever, we also can have the user. That's what we'll see later. Uh, so if the app is not installed, you just guide the user to the proper uh, app store. Now, if the app is installed, you use your scheme as seen earlier. On Android, in, on, on Android, you can also use something like called Intent Filter, but again, it's for your techies. Don't remember that. Just gives, gives a slide to, you, to your techies. <laughs> um, and let's have a little bit, uh, uh, a little moment of focus on social to app. Beca why? Because in, in, in to, um, in, in, for during a few years, Deezer and Spotify were using this as a um, gross hacking uh, technique. And it worked. I, 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 I think they, they got something like, I deserve, there, was, there were about something like 8 million downloads thanks to that. So how, how did it work? Basically, maybe you know a little bit about viral mechanics. It's all about production and consumption. So on one side, features in the product lead users to share content on social media or social networks. On the consumption side, sorry, <coughs> this, this content, uh, if you consume this content, then it generates either acquisition or retention, and thus more production. So it's a viral, viral loop. Well, when you design such stuff in your product, you just have to remember that it has to have a, be has a benefit for the user. It's not only, oh, just say that, so that we gain some more users. No. Um, people share on, on, on Deezer or Spotify because they want to show that they are good music lovers, and it's all about self-branding as well. Cell branding, yeah. cell branding. Sorry. Um, so uh, let's get this example of social to app. Let's, for example, the user clicks on a, um, a Twitter a link, a link Deezer.com on, on on Twitter. Um, to Deezer uh, shows to show a mobile web page, where you can from from which you can download the app. So if the user clicks on download Deezer, then it drives acquisition with the, the app store. And if he launches the app. It's used for re-engagement. The cool stuff is that you can set a cookie on the web page so that we remember the choice. And the next time, it will lead directly to the app, just like what we did with the QR code. 
Okay? Clear enough? Okay. Uh, so it's a wonderful mechanic for uh, re-engagement and uh, acquisition. Um, yeah, maybe you heard about iOS Smart Hub Banner, which allows similar stuff. Uh, it's just that um, you you will find it's rare to find publishers that implement it with the parameters and that uh, it opens a particular sections. Quite never. Uh, it's not multi-platform, and you can't remember the choice. It's an important point. Whatever. Um, so just some resource uh, regarding deep linking. Uh, you have some framework and tools, so uh, you might not need them, but ensure that if you build your mechanics of deep linking, uh, ensure that your techies study those frameworks. And, um, and we have people from AppSphere here, uh, they are good at that as well. Uh, you Maybe you heard about Facebook Haplinks, which is an open initiative of Facebook, so same stuff. I mean, you. You have a uh, re-engagement ad in the, in the Facebook app. You click on it, dedicated section in the app, specific section in the app. Remember that for Facebook or Twitter, it's sort of proprietary mechanism that allows them to provide more uh, richer media uh, within the apps, targeting your uh, application. Uh, well, the documentation links are for your tickets as well. <laughs> Um, and Google App Indexing, did you know that you can, for Android apps, uh, also let Google index your uh, content? So that's what it allows as well. You can have direct uh, search results um, opening your app directly on particular sections. Um, is it okay? Not too fast? No, I'm quite speedy. <laughs> okay. Um, and just, yeah, mentioning deferred deep linking, it's on other technical stuff. You can read the article uh, just that, so that you know the word. Um, it basically, it, it, it will work also after the install, because in what we've seen earlier, so install sort of uh, interrupts the process. With that, uh, the application will uh, be able, we use it, that, that uses tracking technology, and instead of tracking, it launches the app in the correct section um, accordingly to the previous head. Uh, okay, just uh, ensure that you read these articles. So those, those two parts for, for quick says, the problem and the solution, are quite the same that you found on this slide, which is another view, so I think it's very interesting as well. And the other ones, you will read them if you have time. Yeah, it's, this is your homeworks. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I would, that's why I wanted to come. So um, some recommendations. Okay. <laughs> it's now. <laughs> No, 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 it's, we just put the recommendation there. Yeah, I need my voice. <laughs> Two more slides. <laughs> so there is one simple and cheap. If you don't have money, and if you don't want to go big on mobile, uh, I think it's kind of, um, it's the, the case for nobody here. But let's say your mobile is not crucial for you. You just implement the smart banner, Android and intent filter, and you rely on your website. Uh, the, the good point is that does, the cost is quite low. Uh, I think you're more interested in that <laughs> because everybody here wants to go big on mobile. So I, I, I advise you to grab your techies and build your own stuff because currently the frameworks that we've seen are not mature enough, so they should study them first. Um, hopefully, in the, in the upcoming year, uh, we'll see some really mature technologies that you'll be able to grab, uh, let's say, um, in the box. Uh, just remember that UX is important, and um, if uh, if you have the means, you should have you, you should also add support for uh, app links, uh, Facebook app links, Twitter app cards, as seen earlier. Uh, well, you can use this slide as your cookbook, and that's that's the end. <laughs> Thank you so much.